Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create Jasper reports using the iReport tool. So what, are, what is this Jasper report? Jasper reports are, the, it is a separate technology which is used to generate the reports for the business use purpose. So in order to show the high volume of data in proper way to the business, the reports are very helpful. And Jasper report is one of the technology by using which we can generate a different kind of reports which are present in the MDM data. For example, how many updates happen on each day. If that kind of report, if you want to display to the business users, then we can create a Jasper report on the last update date on the base object table and we'll generate the report and we can show such reports in the IDD application. Now, so how can we start? So before we have to start to create a Jasper report, make sure you have installed the iReport tool. The installer is also available online or it will be available also as a part of the MDM hub installation. So you can take from either of the uh, way and install the iReport. The iReport software will look like this. So if, if you see the, my current iReport software is uh, it, it is the version 1.7. If you want additional information, you can fetch from the online. Uh, let's check about it is the it's a i report 4.7 and these are the details it also work with the net net bins so if you are if you know the net bin ide it's a it's a kind of eclipse tool which you normally use for the development purpose so this i report also can be developed using the net bins so these are the details now let's start to create our first report so before creating a any report make sure you have the connection to the database so how can you create the connection on the right hand, on this uh, toolbar section you can see the report data sources click on that click on the new button here you have to select what kind of database are you using are you using the file system or if you are using the hadoop high connection or if you are using mdm database then you can use the accordingly that corresponding database so for example if you are using jdbc connection let's select that here you have to select the what kind of database you have for example if you have the oracle then select the oracle if you have the mysql then select the mysql if you select oracle then accordingly you have to provide the jdbc connection url username password once you provide those details it will create a database connection for us so let's save this and close so we got the database connection next is what kind of reports you want to create so in order to create a different kind of reports you have to select file select new and select what kind of report you want by default if you select the report of this blank uh, we have the blank type or if you have the pie chart related something like this reports or there are various samples available you can use either of that so let's start with the basic template so select that and create open this template template will open you can give any name to this template let me go mdm report you can store at whatever the location you want to save it and click on the finish so it will generate some heading and title etc so by default this is the view of your tool but if in case if you do not find this palette section then you can go to the windows and select the palette so the palette will be available for use in order to add the title or the static content you can select this and just drag it here so let me select uh, just double click to add the content and you can resize it you can uh, so there are various options available for example if you want to make little more font size you can make that then if you want to add italic italic size or if you want to underscore that that is also possible 
if you want to add some diagrams rectangle line or something like that you have to just select it and drag it here if you want to resize it just select it and edit it it's as like as any a graphical user interface to edit this option now I want to add the pie chart assume that that is the condition in order to add the pie chart select this chart and click it here so whenever it select it gives one pop-up to select what kind of chart you want you want bar chart or point chart or the bar chart or the pie chart etc so before going to select any charts we need to have the data set we need to have the data right so in order to add the data data set what you have to do select your chart click on right click on that given chart and add the data set you can give the data set name for example I'm giving the pie chart data set there is no restriction you can use any name then you can select the create a new data set from the connection or the data source or you can also create the empty so let's create using the database connection select the radio button first and click on the next button from the drop down you can see the various database available or the data sources available in my current workspace as we have created this the same XORS database we select that and write a query so we know that whenever the pie chart comes it is actually the grouping of the elements so we have to create the what kind of grouping want to we want to create so we'll create the based on the consolidation indicator so select consolidation indicator count con consolidation indicator from which table so we know to see the what are the columns available or which table you want to use we will go to the database and see the data and the column structure and as well as the table structure so we will use the CBO EMP table and will group on the consolidation indicator right now there is only one value available that is 4 but if the value changes we have the opportunity to the see the this variation in the data now this data contain the employee information like employee name and employee ID etc but we are not concerned about that data volume we are we are more concentrated on the consolidation indicator column so we got that from the CBO EMP so let's configure that CBO EMP and we will group on consolidation indicator and click on the next it says consolidation means if you say if you use any wrong value or wrong column it will complain us so this is typo error so you have to make sure everything is correct choose all the columns so that these columns are available to select for our pie chart if you have so many columns you can choose any particular column that is also possible group 1 group I will use the consolidation indicator and finish so we created the data set so that is the prerequisite before creating or adding the pie chart so we got that uh, parameter you can verify inside the fields section if you see the parameter there are by default parameters are available there are variables available by default and the groups available by default uh, what are we configured so let's add this chart and the common column header section Here, whenever you select any chart, it will ask what kind of data set are you going to use. So, we'll use the newly created pie chart data set and it will show us the next step to use a unique identifier and numeric value. So, unique identifier for us is consolidation indicator. So, you can select from the fields section and just double click that value. And that value will be shown in this, in this window. Click apply similarly select the numeric value numeric value is nothing but the count of the consolidation indicator make sure it is of type integer I mean string or var char is not allowed for this field click on the next button and it will generate a chart for us so just rearrange it means if you want to bigger let's make it bigger and you can click on the save button so we added the title that is IDD consolidation report we added the one figure that is line 
and we added the chart so before adding the chart we created the data set let's have the preview so if everything is fine then preview will be shown so but now if you see the document has no pages this message is got is getting shown so maybe something wrong in this uh, uh, view let's me try to add in the proper way let me just contact it yeah so there is a restriction if you not properly use the figures at proper location these reports will not generate properly let's try now it still says there is no document available one second let's try out some other location and one more thing we can try let's try to connect this also to the database my report is going to connect to the database select start from cbo emp click ok and for this if you want to edit this pie chart so you can just right click and here we say the bo emp everything is correct we can see that data and whenever you connect to your actual database inside the fields you can see the all the columns so let's try to add one column here and let me drag here just like that and preview so now i can see the information i can see the uh, the 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 consolidation indicator pie chart so uh, as all the values are four in the database that is the reason pie chart has only one color if it has the multiple values then it will show the other values also if you want to edit it like let me try to remove this just select remove preview so now i can see the appropriate pie chart so by this way you can create a pie chart and you can save this pie chart also you can save in the different format like the pdf format html format or any other format but whenever you configure the if you want to configure the jasper report in the idd it required the jr xml file so you have to save this file or you have to whenever you save this file that location you need to know because you need to copy this report file at a particular location in the mdm hub server location so i hope this tutorial is going to help you to create or how to create the jasper report so keep watching this space to learn how to configure how to create the more interesting jasper report and use this in the different application such as idd in the mdm hub thank you for watching my video and have a nice time